In this uh, web video, I want to demonstrate you uh, the functionality of the data mapping uh, form, which is developed for uh, creating data mappings uh, you in Enterprise Architect. Um, it's based on a diagram, and in a diagram you can have two types of entities. Uh, one is are the source entities, and one are the destination entities. For the creating of the mapping, it doesn't matter whether the elements are tables, XSD elements, or XSD complex types, or uh, classes uh, within Enterprise uh, Architect. It is possible with the functionality of Enterprise Architect uh, to create uh, feature uh, associations. However, uh, this is quite a lot of work, so that's why we created a data mapping screen, uh, which can do most of the things we want to do automatically. I'm going to specialize and I activate the diagram helper and here you have the data mapping screen and what I can do is I can say well I want to add a number of elements uh, to the source site and I want to add some elements to the target site. So let's see what happens. These two elements I add to the uh, source sites and these elements I add to the target site. And what you see now is that there is a grid loaded with all of the elements. I can then select all the elements I want to generate, but what's maybe even uh, handsome, more handy is that I can say, well, match these elements by name. And what you see here is that all the elements are uh, created based on the name. This is something uh, which can uh, reduce, uh, especially when there are a lot of names the same, can reduce the selecting of the uh, right columns or the right elements uh, very uh, rapidly. What I can do now is I can say, well, I want to generate the mappings. And what you will see, what will happen, is that here all the associations are created based on the elements I selected. I can close this window and what I can do now is I can reopen it and I can do the same thing again. I can do this to the source and these to the targets and what I can do now is I can say well the mappings which are already available I can um, load them and what it will do is that it will fill all the elements and I will disable these elements. Uh, so this is also quite handy for creating um, the elements which are already available. So when I want to add new elements or when I have added new attributes, uh, then uh, this um, can disable uh, the data mappings which are already available. Another functionality which is available, again the same, is that I can say, well, I won't load the data. So I have then have the possibility to create the elements by hand, like this, um, and add the rows accordingly. Last thing is creating a merger. Again, go to the diagram helper. I want to map to the target because I want to create a merger and I want to add the, like this. And what I can do now is I can say, well, these all have to be added to one field and I will add the merger to yes. And what you will see now is that I will create a merger uh, entity between the elements and it's all based on uh, the elements I selected. And here, when I want, I can add, for example, a constraint uh, to say how these elements are combined to create the merger. Splitter is also available, works the same way. 
all the other uh, apps I have shown for the merger only in the other direction. So this is basically the functionality available within the data merges screen and you can imagine that it will reduce you a lot of work when you have to work a lot with data mappings in your models. Um, this mapper, this uh, mapping routine and mapping window is available within the ID uh, add-on and this add-on can be found uh, at uh, aiexpertise.nl and it's an open source product so you can download it and try it uh, within your own projects and I wish you uh, very much success with modeling data mappings with the data mapping screen.